I just did a video about how I made my gnome my gnome. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is disabling all of this. And boop, we're going to basically be turning gnome into something more KDE-like because there's lots of KDE users out there that crap on gnome. They're like, extensions, extensions, extensions. Look, guys, your entire desktop environment is built of widgets, and if you take away every single widget, you have no usable desktop environment, just a wallpaper. So how do we build a KDE-like environment? Well, first off, we got to move that big guy to the bottom because that's the most important. We do this with... Why is this still transparent? Give me a second here. This should not still be transparent. I don't understand. <laughs> All transparency should be disabled. Ugh. Okay. This keyboard is something I will be returning very soon. It's not very good. So we need app indicator. Okay, actually, we have to turn them all back on. That's the thing. So we're going to be disabling them one by one. Because you can't just turn them all off and then turn them on individually. That's just not how that works. Okay? It's not. So there we go. All right, done. The video probably just lagged like crazy because of that. So first thing we need is an app indicator because we need to see our stuff. All right. The next thing we need is arc menu because we do need a start menu. But here's the weird part. What do you need after that? Well, we need just perfection. You need to go into just perfection, head over to customize and uh, panel position bottom. Yeah, it's that simple. Just just move it to the bottom. And uh, as you can see, for some reason, it turned it transparent. It ended up breaking it. Turning on Blur My Shell fixed that. Now, we all know that uh, the bar down bottom is not a panel. It's technically a taskbar. And to make it a taskbar, we just go in here. We go to Customize. And we do Panel Size. So, what, 23? No, it's smaller than 23. Let's do 42. And 42 is not right either. I think it's more like 45-ish. Yeah, that would be more correct. 45-ish. Great. So we got that. And as we know, the clock is over here. So you're obviously going to have to change clock position from center to right. And my suggestion is honestly to leave it at 6. Because having the buttons over here at the end make more sense. Okay? Great. So now if we turn this on, you notice that we have icons and stuff here. Okay? And that's completely fine. But the icons don't auto-scale up, which is a problem for me. I don't like that. You'd have to go in here and you'd have to, of course, change it. And doing so uh, ends up being very annoying. Look at that. We can also change it to when apps display in the thing. So that's nice. So how do we do that? Well, I think we can go back into Just Perfection, go into Customize, and uh, Icon Size. A shell theme, maybe? No. Let's turn these up to, what, 40? I think 40 is probably going to be... Oh, it just it just scales those. <sighs> okay. I shell theme. Oh. Okay, so let's try 16. Actually, a little bit bigger looked nicer, didn't it? Maybe we can do 22? I actually like 22. 22 looks great. These are so small. They really shouldn't be this small. I don't like it. It makes me angry. Hmm. If only we could make the icon size 40. But it won't let us. We're stuck here like this. So let's try Decomf Editor. In case you don't know, you can change any setting you want about something within the decomp editor. If you wanted to, you can go and enable vsync and all this other stuff in here. Not vsync, sorry. Uh, variable refresh rate, native scaling, and all that other stuff. So, uh, if we actually search for this, and it's called dash bar, right there. See it? Icon size, 26. Let's try 40. I like icons at 40. There we go. Icons at 40 look really nice. Yeah. 
Oh, that's pretty quick. Deconf Editor is a lifesaver for when the application literally holds you by the balls and says, no, you don't get to do this. This is not your thing. It's annoying. It really is. But again, if you find this too limited, this is just a straightforward way of doing it. We have another application, which is called Dash to Panel, which we will be exploring. But in a nutshell, you have everything you need here. You have your app, your app indicators. You have that. Uh, I don't, I don't like that the way that it is there. And for some reason, oh, there it is. Okay, that's more in depth. So when you actually open up an application, you get to see it happen. Uh, what else do we need in here? I already got arc menu. It's really forward and really simple to make this stuff look really nice. Like, look at that. I like how that just sets everything up, but it changes the icon size of this, which I don't like. So I'm actually turning that off. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. What happens if I turn on open weather defined? Yeah, I would need to put that over on the right hand side. So that would have to go layout center right there. See that? Now we have the weather. And in a nutshell, it ends up looking like this, which is okay, but it's not my thing because we can clearly do better. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to extension manager. You don't have to do this, by the way, if this looks good for you, if this works for you, great. But we're going to enable dash to panel. Okay, and dash to panel just made that all disappear. We need to turn off this because that is no longer needed because dash to panel handles everything. And we go to dash to panel and we put it on the primary monitor. Oh, right. And then we would need to, of course, undo what we did in just perfection. So we go to customize and we turn panel size back to this icon size back to this and we move back to the top and then that makes it show and then we have to turn this off turn this back on and we are back yeah and if we head into panel there now we got our blur now i don't know if this is going to work we probably have to turn this back off and on for it to work and this off and on. Okay, let's try it in this way. On. No, that definitely messes with dash to panel a lot. So that stays off. Ugh, okay. See, this is part of the video where we end up getting stuck because we're screwing around. And of course, we'll go back in. There. Uh, blur original panel with dash to panel enable the blurry. Yes, this is what we want. There we go. I mean, we can do static if we want. I think static would probably be better for this than dynamic because dynamic seems to have some issues. So there you go. It's all spaced out. Uh, let's go over this the best that we can. Uh, this is something I don't mind. Talking a lot does end up giving me headache after a while, but it is what it is. Apply to all monitors. So yes, you can have panels on all monitors and you can have this auto hide if you want. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, it's up to you though. And we're going to just click that and then, oh, that's not going to work. Click it and then 40. I like 40. Panel thickness. For th oh no, I don't actually like that. I think panel thickness should stay at that. Uh, activities button? No. Show application button. Disable that. Uh, panel length is fine. Anchor? Why are we not able to change the center? Like, why can't we move things in the center? That's a bit weird. Center's disabled. Is it disabled in Deconf Editor? 
Yeah, I understand. Uh, extensions, dash to panel. Tray padding, tile position, app indicator. Weird. Multi monitors there. No elements. Yeah, it's not there. Huh. Well, that's annoying. Let's go to style. And icon size is normal. You can animate your icons. Running indicator, we can set to top or bottom. Uh, I'd rather have dots because those are nicer. You can do what you need to do. And of course, you can override your everything about this. We can make this into Windows XP if we wanted to. That's how cool this is. But yeah, let's turn off that icon padding so everything goes together. And then there's that to four. So that brings things over a little bit more. You would have to take this into your own hands and make this work for you. This is not something I can give you like a perfect uh, view of, you know, like how it runs completely because I'm not used to it. Keep original gnome shell dash. Really? Keep original gnome shell top panel. Well, that's kind of interesting. I did not know that exist. And we messed this up again. So we'd have to go turn that off and on again. I don't know. I want for this. Oh. Oh. So we'd have to change that. The length is what controls that. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely interesting. I mean, icon size. You figured the icon size would be in here. Icon padding and icon margin default eight. What does this do? Ah. So if we do that, it's basically like that. Where? Panel length. So the thickness controls the size of the icons. Well, that's annoying unless I'm not looking in the right direction for this. Huh. On group applications. Oh, old school, huh? Cool. I like that. That's kind of interesting. Padding for the tray and stuff. That's interesting. I don't know. It just doesn't look like it lets us control very much. Which again is a bit disappointing, but it's whatever. Uh, yeah, so there you go, look at that, you can make it go centered, well as centered as it is able to go I guess, uh, interesting, the right box, what is the right box, stack to the right, so you're the right box, Monitor center. Okay. Monitor center. Monitor center. Monitor center. There we go. That's more Windows 11 type-ish thing. Yeah. And then if we wanted to, we could totally go into arc menu settings. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure this out as we go. It's always fun to learn. Not everybody's going to know everything ahead of time. You got to remember that. And, uh, traditional ones. Ugh, gross. Modern ones. There's enterprise, windows. Ugh, pop. Not nice. There's a lot of ugly things in here, that's for sure. There's 11. I like that. Now we do that. And, uh, go back here. Yeah, 11 layout tweaks. Interesting. There's power options. Look at that. Don't mind if I enable all those. That looks nice. Uh, what else? 
height width location so this is what i want location monitor center yeah uh let's just bring that down to zero no let's just do bottom center there we go that looks nice are we able to make that grow we probably are there's height width offset everything like that but so far we've managed to windows 11 it which i'm not really complaining about that looks kind of nice again i wish open bar was more compatible with dash to panel so you guys can make it more of your own but it is what it is that looks pretty cool i like that yeah by the way this is lagatha from the vikings uh, there was a gift that did her dirty, so I had to give her some screen time. It's just who I am. It's just who I am. Is that his background? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks really nice. I like that. So if this video helps you, let me know. There's obviously more things that can be done, but this is more of an alternative way to get things done. You can make it look KDE-like, as I did before. You can make this look Windows 11 like. You can do whatever you really, really want to when it comes to Windows and stuff like that. Like right now, what I would do with Weather Refined is I would open it up and I'd go to Layout and I'd put it on the left side. And yeah, see, that's the problem. I don't like that. That makes me mad. I can't put it on the far left. Damn. That's disappointing. But I mean, it, it looks okay there. We're going to put it back on the right hand side though. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video if you want to support me. I have a Ko-Fi. I also have YouTube membership, which is ridiculously affordable. And uh, every little bit helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.